What's up, y'all? How y'all doing out there? It is your girl, Tiffany, and I'm back at it. I'm back at it with another video for you guys. In this video, you guys, this video right here, this video is for anybody that's going through something, don't know where to turn. I mean, you just, depression that kicked your ass, anxiety that kicked your ass. I mean, it's like, what to do next? This video right here is for you. So go ahead, tap in with your girl. Go ahead, hit that like, subscribe, all that good stuff to keep me going. I'm going to keep pushing out videos every every week, if not two times a week. But every week for sure, that's my schedule that I'm on right now. So I'm just trying to sprinkle you guys with a little bit of game. These videos is actually for the 20 year old me. These videos right here, if I had these videos and I had this content and had this game 20 years ago, y'all, I will not be going through the things that I'm going through. So all I'm trying to do is just help you, help me, help us. That's all I'm trying to do with this content. So go ahead, stick around. Like I say on all my videos, you won't be disappointed. All right, let's get right to the video. Yes. All right, so the first thing that's on your girl's list of just something that just to help you get motivated, just to influence you, inspire you to get up, whatever lump slump dump you in whatever season you are in in your life this video is for you so the first video y'all is just be your own boss be your own fucking boss be your own hero be your own influencer motivate yourself you don't need him she her and them motivating you you know what you need to do be your own hero wear your own cape you don't need nobody motivating you. It took me so long to realize that the only person that I needed to motivate me was me. When I have God in me, I am the majority. It's me against the world. And it's probably not that, you know, I'm probably overthinking that me against the world. But this is for that, that broken adult, that troubled teen. Get the fuck up and be your own boss. Alright? Being your own boss. You don't need nobody to tell you what to do, how to do it, run your life. You know what you need to do. So that's the first thing. Be your own fucking hero. Wear your own cape. Alright? Yeah, I'm going to be very, very emotional on this. On this video. Yeah. So, be your own boss. Alright, so the second thing that's on your girl list for anybody that's going through any depression, any anxiety, and you don't know where to turn, this video is for you. Alright, so the second thing, y'all, and this is one thing that I, be, I do every day. I do every day, and that is just get up. Get up. Get up, show up, and then show off. That's what you do with your life. Whatever happened, it happened. You wouldn't still be here if you didn't have no purpose. So get up about your bed, get dressed, throw on some makeup, intensify the effect, go get a haircut, go get your hair done, do your own nails, get that outfit out the closet, get up. Stop sitting in your own shit. It don't smell good. I know you can sit there for so long and your shit can start smelling good, but I'm here to tell you. That it do not smell good. So get the fuck up right now. If this video don't tell you nothing, if it don't help you with nothing, I'm going to let you know you need to get the fuck up. All right? Get up and stop having a little pity party or whatever we doing nowadays. It's 2022. Get up. Show up. And then show off. All right? So that's the number two thing that's on your girl list. Alright y'all, so the third thing that is on your girl list of anybody that's going through something, that's went through something, that maybe know somebody that's going through something, this video may help them, so share this video, alright? So the number three thing, the third thing that's on your girl list y'all is find you and find, and then you'll find your purpose. Find who you are. Find that genuine you. Not the person that you think is you. You know who you are. Figure out who you are. Find you. Stop looking in, in somebody else's 
glasses or through somebody else's house or at somebody else's car, find you. Identify who you are. And then you'll find this purpose in this world. There's no way that you can find your purpose if you don't know who you are. So if you are in the business, or you old enough, or you young enough, and you like, man, I just don't know my purpose, because everybody has a purpose. Everybody has a purpose. If you're still on this earth, you have a purpose. And if you haven't found that purpose, that's probably because you haven't found you yet. So find you first, and then your purpose will come. You'll find your purpose as you find you, all right? I know a lot of people be like, man, I lost myself. I got in this relationship. I lost myself. I had kids. I lost myself. No, you didn't lose yourself. I'll be the first to tell you. Sometimes we outgrown ourselves, but we don't lose ourselves. Because why are we running from ourselves? So why would you lose yourself? Is your yourself playing peekaboo? Hide go seek? I mean, I don't get that concept. I lost myself. No, you did not lose yourself. Okay, you might not have outgrown the old you, so find the new you and then you'll find your purpose. Alright, so that's the number three thing for anybody that's just trying to find a way out. Find you and then you'll find your purpose. Alright, let's get down to the number four thing. We're almost done. We're almost at the end of this list. Alright y'all, so we are on the number four thing. We are on number four on my list. And the number four thing, you guys, is just... Follow your dreams. Whatever that may be, follow those dreams. Don't follow your mama dreams. Don't follow your daddy dreams. Don't follow the girl next door dreams. Don't follow the boy that you in football practice with dream. Follow your dreams. Those dreams that you have in your heart, those dreams that you dream of, those dreams that just keep chasing you, you know what they are because they're your dreams, right? Follow them. Stop taking your dreams to small-minded people. Because that's the number one thing of why people don't follow their dreams. We dream, and then we tell somebody else, and then they shoot it down. Follow your dreams. That is the fourth thing on this list. This is the number one thing that I'm going to stick with to the day I die. I tell my kids this all the time. Follow your dreams, because you only live once. And you would hate to be 80 years old, 90 years old. And then regret everything that you could have did. And everything. Oh, when I was 30, I could have did this. Don't be that could have, should have, wouldn't have person. Follow your dreams. All right? That's the number four thing on this list for anybody that's trying to figure it out. Follow those dreams. I don't care what it is. Follow them. Stick to them. Be consistent. Love them. But follow them. All right? Number four thing on your girl list. Alright y'all, so we are on the 15 that's on my list of just anybody that's just trying to find a way out of anything, any situation that you are in. I will be the first to let you know that it's possible, okay? So the number 15, and this is something that I work on every day. And ever since I've been seeing a therapist, and it's been about 6 weeks, 7 weeks, you know, it has really opened my mind to a lot of things. My brain is much clearer. I'm able to cope with different emotions a little bit better. But one thing that I would not, would not, every day I wake up, I do this. And that's protect my energy. Protect your energy. You only get a certain amount of energy per day. Okay? We don't have energy for yesterday because yesterday is gone. We don't have energy for tomorrow because tomorrow is not here. Protect your energy that you have now. If you have people in your life and their energy is not on the same energy as yours or they seem to bring your energy down when they come around, maybe you need to dismiss yourself from them. So you can't give your energy out. You can only... I mean, you can't let someone take your energy. You can only give it out, right? So no one could come take my energy. I would have to be willing to give them my energy. And that is something that I'm not willing to give to nobody. So yes, you could cut me off in traffic. You can look at me strange. You can say little stuff under your breath. But now I'm at the point where I have protected my energy. And the only thing I do, I look at God and I be like, you see that? You heard that? Because I'm in a place in my life right now 
that nothing would come in in my in, 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 in between me and my energy. I protect it. Look, I'm sitting in my serenity room now. I have a whole water fountain right here. Do you get what I'm saying? That's one thing that I will protect at all costs. And I need you guys to do the same. Don't let nobody bring you out your character. Y'all too cute for that. We too bossed up for that. So protect your energy at all costs, by all means. Protect your energy. All right? All right, y'all, so we are on the number 16 that's on your girl's list. We're almost done. Yes. Yes, we're almost done. So the number 16, y'all, and this is by far the most thing that I had to learn over these 39 years of being on God's green earth. All right? This is something I'm still learning to this day. But that I'm learning about it is helping me with my life. So if it's helping me, maybe it can help you. So the number 16 that's on your girl list is just stop trying to control stuff. Stop trying to control people, the way people think about you, the way they see you. Because to really be honest, it really don't matter. It really don't matter. So one thing I have learned on this personal growth is to control the things that I can control, right? And the things that I can control with me is my mind, my body, my soul, and my heart. Everything else I can't control. I can't control every little thing that's going on in, with me or around me. It's impossible. It was. We don't have enough time in the day to control every aspect of our life. So if you have the ability to let go of control just a little bit, just a little bit, but keep the, let it go. Control the things you can control, like your mind, your body, and your soul. And some of y'all can control your heart. Some of y'all can't, but yeah. But those things you can control, other things you can't, let it go. Let go, let God. On some real stuff. Let go and let God. You can't control it. It's out of your hands. Put it in his hands. This is his world. This is universe. You, 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 it's, we are not freaking created to try to control everything and everybody around us. So that's the number 16. I'm almost done. Your girl's almost done. I'm almost on to 17. Yeah, so go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, and let's get down to the seventh thing, okay? Yes. All right, y'all. So we are at the end of the list. So we are on number seven at the end of the list. And this right here, this is something that is easier said than done. Took me a while to do it, but since I have realized and started learn to do it, I really appreciate life a little bit more. So the number seven thing that's on this list is just show gratitude. Show yourself some gratitude. Get a gratitude journal. I have came up with a gratitude journal and I write in it every day. You know, I write all the good things that's happening in my life. I got a car. I got a boyfriend. I got healthy children. Um, my kids graduated from high school. I got perfect health. My perfect health. Um, I'm pushing 40. I don't look 40. I mean, it's just so much that I could be happy for. I don't spend so much time on the negative no more of what I don't have. Because if I needed it, I would have it, right? Yeah. So the things that I just, I wake up every time my mind say, girl, you too old to do this. Or you, you should have been doing this. Or you're not doing this. Or you fucked up and do this. I have to, you know, kind of breathe. Relax, pray, and then I have to remember all the things God has done to, for me in the past. And I know that he'll do it for me in the future. So why am I here stressing? Baby, yes. Learn to show gratitude. If you're in that, in any situation, in the dumps, in the slumps, in the trumps, in the whatever you in, wherever period, season you are in your life, I'm letting you know, it. this does not have to be it. It is so much better. Even if you don't have a dollar in your pocket. Even if you don't have food to eat right now, 
but you have breath in your body. That's all you need. That's all you need. Trust me. So I'm gonna go ahead in this video. Alright. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, tap in with your girl. I'm gonna try to hit y'all with another video this week. If not, just go ahead and expect another video next week. I do have another channel that I'm working on, so I'm trying to do videos on this channel, do videos on that channel, trying to get this podcast stuff. Y'all been rough with that. Y'all was about to get a podcast. So, yes, getting this podcast stuff setting up. I actually got some t-shirts and other stuff that I'm about to start designing. So, I hope to show you some content about all that if it intertwines what I'm doing with the seven choices, seven different ways. But other than that, yeah. Like I say on all my videos, you guys, stay y'all. Stay you. Stay positive. Don't let nobody bring you out your character, okay? It looks better. It looks better when you be you. Be you. Believe in yourself like my shirt says. Believe in thyself. And until next video, y'all. Y'all be careful. Because like I say, safes get broken into. And we don't have time to be getting broken into in 2022. Bye.